The Little Bird helicopter is autonomous. It flies by itself. It's being developed to fly missions behind enemy lines, keeping pilots out of harm's way. Problem is, it's vulnerable to cyber attacks. Someone can walk up to the aircraft as a malicious maintainer, and he can plug something into the aircraft while we're out on the ramp getting ready to launch. The unmanned Little Bird made an ideal platform for the Hackham's project. It runs on a relatively small amount of code, and it's an experimental military vehicle designed to be safe, but not cyber secure. Okay, we're off the holy pattern. Go to red mountain. Copy. It's the project's goal to make sure that Hackums mitigates possible cyber attacks. And Hackum software is controlling not just the mission computer, which is which we actually flew earlier in the program, but it's also controlling the. It's we've also implemented most of the flight control computer using these Hackums technologies. Little Bird will fly a sortie to a specified location, take reconnaissance photos, and return. But the red team will infect the helicopter with malware using a mechanic's thumb drive usually used for diagnostics to try to kill the mission. I'm Brandon Haynes. I am with the red team acting as the voice of the offense on the Hackums program. The aircraft is sitting on the ramp. The pilot goes through the startup sequence. And then the maintenance person who's already out there will take a USB cable and insert it into the USB port on the aircraft. The virus enters Little Bird through the flight data recorder. Without Hackums, the red team is able to take control. We are able to get into the data logger and have full control of the Little Bird's mission command systems. That means we're able to shut down the camera system or cause the helicopter to fly wherever we'd like. Oh, I was absolutely flabbergasted that they came in and within an hour they had a control of my sensor and I never expected them to get that far. And if it's able to successfully do that, then the aircraft can't complete its mission because it can't use the camera. They will fly the same sortie, now with the Hackham's protection. This time, the infection is contained within the Hackham's partition. It isn't able to spread beyond the data recorder to the camera or any other part of the helicopter. In the Hackham's secured little bird, the data logger component, which is the only component that uses that USB interface, although we're able to get into the data logger, the data logger is compartmentalized off from all of the mission command components. We're able to shut down the data logger, but we are not able to tell the helicopter to fly elsewhere, and we are not able to shut down the Westcam or any of the other components. It did absolutely nothing as it was supposed to. The cell 4 prevented the malware from getting out of the data recorder part of the computer into the rest of the computer and doing anything else. At the moment, having not completed the assessment, we have no serious security findings in the Hackham's secured Little Bird. There's always different ways of approaching things and different ways of looking at different things. This stuff really works. If you fully deployed Hackham's technologies and took it to its hypothetical conclusion, I may not be able to imagine a way that I could even try to get in.